Hello. Oh, did you want to sit? Uh, yeah, sure, I can sit over there. Oh. Okay. It's nice weather we're having. What are you, uh, what are you listening to there? Uh, sorry, what was that? I, I know, I was just, I was wondering what type of music you were listening to. Oh, it's actually, it's a book on tape. Well, oh, okay. an audio book. I don't think they make the tapes anymore. Yeah, I think they've, they've kind of gone extinct. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm gonna get back to... Yeah, sure, I guess it's a pretty good book. Yeah, I mainly just like the narration really brings the scene to life. You know, the dinosaurs went extinct, he said in a desperate attempt to keep the conversation going with the pretty girl. You know, I did hear something along those lines. She jokingly quipped at the boy to whom she had not yet been properly introduced. The young fellow on the bench revealed his name by saying, Hi, I'm Lucas, then offered his hand in greeting. Reciprocating, she shook Lucas's hand and completed the introduction by saying, Hi, I'm Jenna. It's nice to meet you. Likewise, Jenna, and hoping not to seem too forward, he inquired, Could I possibly get your number so that I can call you for dinner sometime, maybe over the weekend or tonight? Without saying a single word, she took a pen from her bag, gestured for his right hand so she could use it as stationery, and then jotted down ten numbers, two dashes, and a set of parentheses, though not in that order. Thank you, he said sincerely. She smiled, and as the boy departed from the bench, she added, I'm free at seven, and I know a good Italian restaurant. Okay, I'll see you then. Then he walked away in anticipation of seven o'clock. Bye. Bye. She said.